Jadev is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 9 episode reaction video. But before I continue with that, it's extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead that you take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which of course I'll put in the description for you if that's the case you find out that you're not caught up. I suggest and so do it everybody else that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This is going to be The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode Number 9. Title of this episode is called Adaptation. This will be my reaction, review, recap of the episode. And I'm reacting to it to have it on my channel. And I'm reacting to it due to the fact that they announced that Season 11 of The Walking Dead, if you didn't know, is going to be the final season of the main Walking Dead show. Daryl, Michonne, Aaron, Eugene, Humigo, and Magna uh, actually managed to fight off and fend off all the the walkers from the cemetery, killing four more disguised humans, recovering Jesus's corpse and the mask from the human who killed him as they leave. Uh, as the group returns to the hilltop, they spot six more walkers following them, and then they lure the group into a confrontation on a covered bridge. Three of the walkers turn out to be more humans in disguise. Daryl and Michonne kill two, while the third, a young girl, surrenders and is taken prisoner back to the hilltop now before they can arrive tara alden and others plan to search or plan out search parties to look for their friends luke actually um, asks if he can help since the rest of magnus group is already lending a hand alden and luke do set out to uh, be a search party and then eventually michonne's group does return to the hilltop in the new threat of humans disguised as walkers is discussed now the girl is uh is locked up and questioned but she asserts all the others she knew died at the cemetery and the bridge eugene is taken to the infirmary to repair his leg while helping him rosita gets sick and rushes outside followed by sadiq and then rosita tells sadiq that she thinks she is pregnant with his child because apparently they were fooling around at one point in time which, of course, Eugene, who has uh, had a romantic attraction to Rosita, and he was just about to tell her, I'm sure she knew already, uh, he overhears that. Now, the hilltop prepares to bury Jesus' body, and Daryl, ups upset over the loss, rushes down to interrogate the girl again in earshot of Henry, who is also still locked up for past transgressions of his alcohol uh, issues that he had with the Gage, Rodney, and uh, Addie. And then Daryl finds that the girl's mother may still be out there leading walkers against the various communities. After Daryl leaves, the girl introduces herself as Lydia, straight out of the comic books, to Henry. And the two start to get to know each other. Daryl overhears this conversation. I don't know if that was by design or what. Maybe he set Henry up. And then at Alexandria... Negan finds the community nearby empty and gathers some supplies, including a compass he takes from Judas' room. As he's about to climb the walls of Alexandria to leave, Judas appears threatening to shoot uh, him. Negan pleads to let him go, but she warns him that there is nothing outside the walls for him. However, Judas does allow him to flee, letting him keep the compass if he ever loses his way, warning that she will shoot him if he, she sees him again. Negan retracts his, retraces his steps back to the sanctuary, briefly passing the clearing where he had killed Glenn and Abraham. That's a touching moment. Uh, sad for us. Uh, sick uh, after getting some drinking river water and returns to the sanctuary, which is now completely abandoned. Nobody's there except for walkers. The courtyard is overgrown with weeds, while the main room has various pieces of furniture scattered around uh, and pools of standing water. Negan attempts to live alone in the sanctuary for a short time, but does realize that there is no longer anything there for him. After that, they're putting down a small group of walkers. Then he puts down Richie, uh, a turned former savior that he had uh, had remained on the savior grounds, and uh, then abandons the sanctuary for good, leaving on a motorcycle back to Alexandria, of all places. He could have just went out on his own somewhere else, but he wanted to go back to Alexandria. And then on the road back to Alexandria, Negan finds Judith waiting for him. She shoots at him, and then Negan picks himself up and admits to Judith that she was right, and he plans to willingly return to Alexandria and his cell, and he no longer wants to 
wants uh, knows what to do with himself. So he's kind of like at a loss. He doesn't know what to do next, and uh, just wants to go back to Alexandria of all random places, which is kind of surprising because he's a prisoner at uh, Alexandria at the moment. And then Alden and Luke discuss putting on a show for the upcoming fair when Luke finds arrows from Humico's embedded in the trees. Now they follow the arrows, the arrows, knowing that a herd of walkers is nearby and keep their distance. However, the arrows draw them directly into a dense part of the forest where humans in walker masks surround them. One of the humans reveals the arrow was set up by them, uh, brandishes a sawed-off shotgun at them, and proclaims trail ends here. And that's when the episode ends. So that obviously is Alpha, the leader of this group that wears zombie skins, known as the Whispers in the Walking Dead comic book. And Alpha is Lydia, the person that's tr uh, in the ca in the cell at the hilltop. That is her mother, and she is uh, Lydia's mom is completely nuts. So pretty good episode. I really like the stuff with uh, Negan and Judith. I really like Luke in this episode, and I also liked the Alden and Luke Dynamic, and Michonne and Daryl. There's a lot of good stuff in this episode. I didn't remember this episode being that good, but it certainly was surprising. So as far as the score of the episode, I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Uh, really enjoyed it. Really liked the stuff with Negan, as I said. Character of the episode, well, I've got to give it to Judith, because Judith was awesome. Uh, she swore, like Negan said shit, and she's like, I'm, I'm a young kid, asshole. And then she shot at him when he came back to Alexandria. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead and you like this episode uh, adaptation from Season 9, go ahead and smash that like button. And smash the like button even if you didn't like this episode. But if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, that's what you need to do. Uh, if you know anybody that would be interested in this particular video, go ahead and share it to them. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, anything you want to talk about Walking Dead related. And of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.